Hello everybody and welcome to this BWAP tutorial. Today we'll be covering the low, medium, and high security levels of the HTML injection reflected get section. So what is reflected HTML injection? Basically, it's whenever a user can have their input interpreted as HTML code by a target web server, and reflected just means that the server will spit back at you whatever you give it. And get refers to the HTTP request method. Uh, now for the fun part. First open up BWAP and use the credentials B bug to log in. Select HTML injection reflected get and click hack. Be sure that before you start the security level is set to low. Now we're presented with a form to fill out. Let's see what happens when we give the form the info that it expects. Welcome John Doe. A simple greeting is displayed to the user. Now let's see what happens when we add some HTML tags around John. Look at that, John is now bold. What happened? I'm sure you could guess, but let's take a look at the source code. You can see that the input we gave it was rendered as HTML. Pretty cool, right? Injection can also be achieved through the URL directly via the get query string. If we put our HTML code directly into the URL, we can see that it works. Now let's move on to medium security. So why isn't John bold now? We can see in the source code that the less than and greater than signs were replaced with HTML entities. To fully understand what's going on, let's check the code of the web page from the BBox VM. This is where being able to understand things like HTML and PHP is really helpful. We can see that on medium security, our input is put through a function called XSS check one. This function replaces only less than and greater than signs with HTML entities. It also runs our input through a URL decode function. Taking a look at the comments shows that the check is bypassable via double encoding, but what is that? OWASP says that this attack technique consists of encoding user request parameters twice in hexadecimal format in order to bypass security controls or cause unexpected behavior from the application. And by using double encoding, it's possible to bypass security filters that only decode user input once, which we saw in the source code that it does. You can read about it in more detail at OWASP.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. When we submit text through the form, it automatically gets URL encoded once. So if we proceed that with the string that's already encoded, it will repeat the process once more, thus double encoding the string and bypassing the check. Now, if we want to do it directly, we can encode the payload twice and stick it in the URL ourselves. Because our input is not being submitted through the form, it's not encoded again, letting our attack succeed. The hardest level has security that is implemented in the best way that makes bypassing it impossible. But feel free to prove me wrong and come up with a never before seen method. Alright everybody, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching.